everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today um, I want to show you something else that came uh, along with the Rising Freedom. Uh, this right here is the Immortal Justice. I think you guys can see that there. Anyways, this is going to be our next build. So I really like the new designs from the Seed Freedom uh, movie. And uh, I'm going to continue doing these kits. In the meantime, I will have a paint video coming up. Uh, I have some paints coming in that I want to show how to mix. And uh, it's the uh, Mr. Color Aqu Aqueous, I think it's called, line. Um, and they're a hybrid acrylic. Um, you're supposed to be able to use Mr. Uh, Mr. Hobby Leveling Thinner to thin them also. So that would essentially kind of make them a lacquer almost. Um, anyways, uh, as soon as those paints come in, uh, I will do that video and have that up for everybody. Um, that'll go along with my paint series. In the meantime, we're going to do an unboxing of this, and then I'm going to build it up, and I'll do a little review on it. Give me a few minutes here, and uh, we'll go over to the to my desk, and I'll do the unboxing. Alright, so here we are, and we have the Immortal Justice. It is from the uh, High Grade Cosmic Air 1144th Gundam Seed Freedom movie. So, here's the box. The box art's really nice. Um, got some stuff on the side here, uh, just the normal stuff they show, show it all done up in some poses and it does transform but we won't ever transform this because they don't need to transform they're gundams they shouldn't shouldn't transform in my opinion but okay anyways <laughs> so yeah that's just that uh this got this side here just another picture of the front it gives you some information, some story, some background. There's a QR code. Uh, you got the nice little poster there. And a few shots of the Immortal Justice. And the other side is just the same as the other side. It has a picture of the front in a smaller size. Nothing really on the back but a warning sticker from Bandai Namco. Other than that, well, that's that. So, all right. Let's see here. Let's see what's in this box. Get rid of these here. Not real sure if those uh, clear straps are uh, a U.S. thing or if they do them in Japan too. But uh, I get some kits that have them and some kits that don't. Just depends. So. All right, so. Open the box and we'll set the lid over here. And first thing in the box, you can see there is a small sticker sheet, nowhere near the size of what we had with the Rising Freedom. That was a little ridiculous. One, two, three, four bags of runners. Box over there. Here is the manual. It's got a real nice uh, picture of the Immortal Justice on the front on the front of it there. And we got the story in English and in Japanese, so that's pretty nice. Uh, Immortal Justice Gundam Compass High Grade Cosmic Air. Now the back of the manual has it all painted up. Shows you the bird mode thing, the boomerang shield. Uh, down below we have and that's some more of the gimmicks here. Looks like the heads, head moves real nice it says, things like that. And we have the color chart. These correspond to Mr. Hobby or Mr. Color uh, paints. So, let's see. Open it up, and we have a color page here. It has all the runners on it. A little bit down here in color. Open it up again, and it looks like we have the head, 
the chest and arms and the very beginning of the legs in color. It's pretty nice. And then more of the, the rest of the legs and the backpack down here at the bottom. More backpack. Weapons. Shield. Alright. Bird mode. I'm not going to even bother with and back to the back of the manual. All right, let's see what's actually uh, in how many runners we have here. So let's start here, and I'm gonna use scissors on these to start them. Maybe, and we'll just set the bag over here on the floor. All right, we got one runner here. Some. Some gray piece, it looks like uh, the gray for inside the face. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. Focus. I have a little bit of a focusing issue sometimes. And we have a red runner. Looks like bird mode stuff, backpack stuff, maybe. I don't know. Uh, this here is some inner frame that these do have a, a bit of an inner frame. Not very much, not like a Master Grade or anything, but, and definitely not like the uh, Iron Blooded Orphan kits did, which had a nice full inner frame almost for an HG. But these here, uh, the way these go together seems to be really, really close to maybe an upgraded version of between the revives that they did for these kit. There's some of these older seed kits and the Witch from Mercury tech. So they're really good. They're really good kits. I highly recommend them all. Oh, let's see, this is like uh, runner number four is in white, has some leg parts. Some those parts, uh, duplicate runner of the red. Uh, let's see, what do we got there? One, two, three, four, five. This is runner five, runner six. Some more frame another copy so we're up to six runners in this kit bag on the floor some dark blue parts if you can see the color there seven uh, more white looks like the shield and the gun and some leg parts a few of everything Kind of set these together here. Maybe you can kind of see here what we're working with, and the bag that we're all we've all been waiting for with the one with the wonderful things called stickers. <laughs> right, right. All right, so. Almost lost the stickers. All right, here's the sticker sheet. It's really small. It looks like a few white pieces for maybe the the uh, wings on the backpack, the eyes, the camera, and the red trim for the rifle. That's not nearly as bad as what the Rising Freedom had. Anyways, we have another little bluish gray part here. another it's almost it's a copy of part of this other runner here the other blue runner but it's another dark blue it has the shield attached to this one and it's missing the chest pieces so that's the difference between the runners and this one here is our a runner and it has multiple colors has the v fin the wings for the backpack the eyes that are they are in a green it's pretty nice and it has all the beam effect uh, resin on it too. So that'll be really nice. All right, so let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten runners. Ten runners. So I think the uh, Freedom had uh, like one or two more runners than this did, if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember, but. 
Anyways, all right, well, I'm going to get to work building this up, and then I'll bring it back over here, and we'll do the review on it. All right? All right, see you in a few. All right, here we go. And I just finished snapping this guy together and doing a little bit of panel lining on him, and put the stickers on. Um, this is the Immortal Justice from the Seed Freedom movie. It's the 1144th scale HGCE kit. And uh, I gotta say, uh, I'm really impressed with these kits. Um, they have great articulation. They're pretty easy to put together. They have a lot of innovation, which is really, really neat. Um, the only problem I have with this kit particular is uh, the side skirts want to pop off real easy. I don't know why. But other than that, the rest of the kit is spot on, absolutely perfect. Um, I'm not going to show you the articulation or any of that because it's the exact same as what I showed on the Freedom, uh, the Rising Freedom the other day. Um, I do want to show you guys something, though, after I'm done uh, talking about the Immortal Justice here. And uh, we'll get into that and in a few minutes. Um, right now, this kit is at the price point. I think it was $21 or $23. Um, it's not a bad price for the amount of plastic you're getting. But I feel that these HG kits, I understand they're all new and there's a lot of innovation going into them and a lot, a lot of new techniques to make them move better and things like that but it's just I feel that this kit shouldn't have been more than like $20 uh, the Rising Freedom it was I think 25 or $26 um, I think you can find it for and it's got it's got a lot more runners than this kit here and that's that's my thing with this kit um it's my only other complaint is the price could have been a couple dollars cheaper i know it's only a couple dollars but that couple dollars does end up going a long way when when you're you know building model kits you can add that two dollars for something else you know uh, maybe some paint or some panel line markers now i really do like this kit a lot like I said, it's finicky with the stupid side skirts, though. The way that it, they're designed, I think I must have knocked them off like 20 times just getting it into the pose that I have it on the pedestal going around on. But all in all, this kit was a fun kit to build, too. Um, it's on par with the Rising Freedom. Um, I would recommend this kit 100%. Um, it seems like all these new seed kits are really, really just on point with articulation and the way they go together. It's, it's very easy to build these, and they look great. I mean, even if you didn't panel line this, it would still look great. There's only a couple stickers, uh, the eyes... Uh, they gave you stickers for the cameras, but all that was already clear. Um, I know the cameras are supposed to be blue, but I just left it the green. Yeah, let's see what else. Uh, the other two stickers. There's four other stickers, and they go on the shield. Uh, there's little wings that pop out of the, the boomerang shield, you know, and they needed white on them. So... All in all, this was a really fun build. Uh, I don't uh, really have anything bad to say about it other than those side skirts. So, uh, the rifle is the exact same as what we got with the Rising Freedom Gundam. Uh, there are some stickers for it. I haven't decided if I want to put them on this gun or not yet. <laughs> they're, they're not great. You know, um, not real sure if I want to or not. And I, I might I might actually end up painting this kit. Um, there's a couple spots where you, I just couldn't get rid of the nubs very well. 
Um, usually I don't worry about that because I usually paint my kits, but I don't usually paint HG kits. <laughs> usually paint my master grades. All in all, though, this this is a this is a great kit, and I highly recommend it. Um, I hope if you see it and you like the Justice, you give it a try. The panel lining just brings out all the detail in this thing. There is really, you know, I don't know. It, it does come with some effect parts. Um, it comes with one that goes between the the toe and in the sh in the uh, knee like a blade type thing I don't know um, and it comes with the parts for the beam boomerangs that have become like swords now instead of coming off of the shoulders they're on the side skirts there um, like I said I'm not gonna mess with it it's gonna stay in this pose just like this forever now for here anyways so, <laughs> um, like I said the articulation is no different than on the uh, the Rising Freedom kit that I just did a review on. So, anyways, this was just a little quick review on another one of the Seed Freedom kits, the new ones. I wanted to share it with everybody. Um, I do have something I want to show everybody, so if you give me a minute here, uh, I'll grab what I want to show you and I'll be right back. All right. Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted to show you. In uh, years ago, there was a company called Dragon Momoko, and Dragon Momoko was kind of sort of a knockoff third-party company of Bandai. They did use a lot of Bandai's like frames, things like that. They always really detailed their kits out really nice. Um, in fact, I, I have the depth sight uh, from them that I haven't built yet, too. Um, so, <laughs> but... This kit here I came across by accident. Um, I've been looking for a Dragon Momoko version of the Sword Strike, um, which I could find, but the price was around $66. Um, which isn't horrible for a Master Grade kit, but I didn't... I didn't want to spend that much, so um, it, I, I already have the Strike Rouge or Rogue or however you everybody wants to say that. Um, so I was looking for something a little different than the Bandai version of the kit. So in this box here um, is what I came across, and I found it on Gundam it, and totally totally by accident I had kind of come across it and was like hmm this is a new company I never heard of so this is basically the, the Dragon Momoko Strike Gundam Sword Strike Gundam because uh, it has a sword pack and it's a bootleg of a bootleg <laughs> so I haven't seen too many videos on this only a couple the company is called Wuji, Wuji Mozing, and um, oh, let me set this. Down. I know I don't have a lot of room to work here, um, but this kit. Wait till I tell you what I got it for, because this this kit was like forty some dollars. $49 I think now or 40 something on their website um, but as you can see it, it, it's construction is close to the same as with the original strike freedom or the strike Gundam I keep wanting to say freedom the strike uh, Gundams are from Bandai and I'm sure that it is mostly a ripoff even even has those stupid hands it will pro I'll probably end up changing out to some holding hands or something, uh, some fixed holding hands. But it, this kit comes pre-painted, guys. Absolutely, 100% pre-painted. Only thing you got to do is panel line it. Look, it's it's even got the same construction here for the, for the sword and all that stuff. So um, it doesn't 
Doesn't, didn't come with water slide decals or stickers, though. Uh, the Dragon Momoko ones did. But look at I want to show you. This is supposed to be... This is a matte finish. I don't know if you can see that in there. Look how, look how nice. Let me, let me open this runner up. Oh, you can feel it. You can feel the paint. Look at, look at that. Look how nice. Look how nice, nicely that, you know, that looks so nice. Let's see if I can get that in there. Hold on. Turn on the light. Let's see. Can we see it now? Yeah, look at that. Look at that matte, matte paint. That is so, so nice. And uh, I'm going to slide this back in here in the bag here and put it in. All, the whole kit is painted. Look, this here, this here's the sword pack, uh, pack parts is a lighter blue. And look at the, look at the V-fin parts and the yellow. Look how bright, vibrant that is. Now, the plastic feels pretty nice, too. Uh, it feels different than the Dragon Momoko plastic. It feels more... A little harder than Bandai, but not too much. It feels pretty good. And even the frame, even the frame has has a sheen to it, like a metal, almost a metallic sheen. Look at this. So I'm gonna end up doing an unboxing on this entire thing and a build on it soon. Um, but I just wanted to share that with everybody. Um, this kit, so. Like I said, I had I got my uh, Solomon or my GPO2 Solomon kit. Sorry, my GPO2 Solomon kit from Gundam. Oh, here we go. So what happens when the camera's in front of you? And they, uh, I, it it actually just shipped out. So um, here, hold on a second. Let me. Let me switch the camera around so you guys can actually see me here. And, uh, what that'll do. I think you guys should be able to see me here. Alright, well, I hope. Um, anyways, I got that kit because they have a point system. So, like, every time you spend money or a dollar, it's, um, You get like it's like a dollar. A point is a dollar or something like that. But I had so many. I got that this kit with shipping for twenty three eighty five from Gundam it. So I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. It, I mean it, it's just such a cool cool kit, you know. And um, I was really really excited about it. So, anyways, I just wanted to share that with everybody too a little bit on the end of this video. Um, I really appreciate each and every one of my, my subscribers, and you all mean the world to me. I'm sorry I haven't been getting content out as fast as some other people do, but I'm trying to get into this role. My son just started driving. Um, yeah, I know he's, he's an older, he's 23, but he started working night shift and ended up a manager on the night shift, and he doesn't miss work for anything, and he sleeps during the day, so it was really hard for him to get his license. Um, he had his temps for a long time, um, but he did get his license, and now he's able to be self-sufficient, and I don't have to live his schedule, so I'm trying to reverse my living during the night to living during the day, and it's kind of hard. Um, it's only been like two weeks, so hopefully I'll be able to get on a better schedule, and I'll be able to get more videos out to everybody. Um, that would be great. I hope you guys can see me and I'm not being cut off here. Um, I can't really see because I'm using a phone. <laughs> so anyways, um, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, I got some other stuff in the works. I know I, I, I got an order going out tomorrow or no, the, on the first, I'll, I'll have an order going out to new type again, and I'll be getting in some more of these um, Mr. Color Aqu Aqueous line paints. Um, you're supposed to be able to mix these with Mr. Color Leveling Thinner, just like you do with the um, 
with the normal Mr. Color lacquer paint. Um, so uh, we're going to test it out and see how it works out. Um, but I wanted to get a couple couple different colors, not just the one color that I that I ended up having come in um, on another order. So uh, you know, um, I'm having a hard time though because there's not a lot of colors. Uh, I wanted to do the the Gundam colors. This is from Seed, and they have Destiny and they have Witch from Mercury. Um, most of the colors are kind of pale colors, so we'll see. I'm trying to find a brighter color or maybe even a black that I can mix too, and we'll see how those come out. Um, I have some master grades that I need to work on. I still need to finish painting the, uh, or doing the uh, Forbidden Gundam and paint it up. And we're gonna get to all that, and I'm sorry, uh, these videos should be coming out like every two days, but I just haven't had the time um, with my sleep schedule and Easter's coming up, so. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here. I'm rambling on. Uh, Thank you guys all for watching me. I really appreciate each and every one of you. You guys do mean the world to me. Uh, spread spread my channel around if you can, if you if you would like. Uh, that would help me out. Um, share this video. Share my old videos. Share my paint videos. Whatever uh, with the rest of your your Gundam, uh, Gundam. I can't talk. The rest of your friends at Bill Gunpla. Um, that would really help me out. Uh, I would like to get enough subs to where maybe I can make this a full-time job. And I can just bring you guys content every day. Um, I'd like to do some live streams too. I'm not sure that I have enough audience though that would watch them. So if you'd like to see me do live uh, building on live stream, um, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. Sorry, my cat's getting into something in the background. <laughs> Anyways, leave that in the comments down below. Let me know if you'd like to see me do a live stream builds. Um, we could even work that out, something like that. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share this video out to your friends. And make sure you keep keep building and having fun with Gunpla each and every day. Or do it however you like because Gunpla is awesome. And... I hope that uh, you all enjoy it just as much as I do because it means a lot to me. Anyways, thank you guys. You all mean a lot to me too. Happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. Happy holidays if you don't. Whatever. But uh, I will see you next week in the next video. Have a great weekend.